Hi. <laughs> May I introduce myself? I'm a crazy chemist, I'm a chemical engineer, and normally I give lectures in health and nutrients. And I discovered a story which sounds very crazy. Um, did anybody of you know this movie Interstellar? It's a story about humans which um, have managed to step into a higher dimension. And from this dimension, they gave very valuable information to humanity in a situation where the civilization uh, was going about to go down to perish. And uh, the story, Interstellar, tells a story that this information which was transferred to us humans in the end of the day saved our civilization. Have you been ever aware that uh, The Simpsons in uh, the year 2000 um, forecasted a situation which happened 15 years um, in advance. Um, they uh, mentioned in 2000 the exact situation where Trump went down the escal escalator after he managed to get president last time. And uh, the world is full of such stories where somebody forecasted the world and precisely the situation which happened many years after that. And I ask myself, is this possible? And um, so um, by circumstance, I discovered many of those situations, which has also something to do with me myself, where I managed to discover forecasts of myself, which um, step into reality many years after that. How shall I begin? Um, perhaps I start with the pyramids of Gizeh. Um, did somebody of you um, ever visited Gizeh in Egypt? Did anybody of you had a look on the pyramids? Um, so the pyramids are largely big, fairly big buildings, a fairly big monument. And there was um, a documentary movie called The Lies About the Pyramids. And uh, so the pyramids had been built for an other reasons uh, than those which are normally transferred or communicated. And if you have a look on those la va vast dimension of the pyramids, uh, there was a fairly big reason or very, very important reason why those pyramids had been built. And in this documentary, some strange things had been published. They built this um, pyramid not only to warn us their information hidden, information which are very valuable for us, a kind of master plan, how to solve a very serious situation. Um, they are oriented exactly uh, towards south and north and you have to know this earth um, has a zodiac cycle of 26,000 years and according to these 26,000 years the precision deviates about 2.1 degree after 13,000 years. And many things repeat itself after this 26,000 year cycle. So when 
the pyramids are perfectly orientated about north and south these days, it means that the warning is exactly for our time. Because 13,000 years before, uh, there was a deviation of more than one degree from north and south, but the pyramids are exactly orientated towards uh, the north now. And if there's a warning <clears throat> implemented in the pyramids in Gizeh, the warning is mentioned for us. So is it possible that we get a warning from our future civilization or from an ancient uh, advanced civilization that we shouldn't do the same mistake which was probably done or perhaps done 26,000 years ago. So this is this crazy story. Um, I emerged myself and uh, like a detective Detective, uh, I solved all those questions which are involved in that. And when I look on this movie Interstellar, I exactly come to the conclusion that we get a lot of warnings not to do the same thing. So is it possible that this whole worldwide Corona theater starts a process where at the end of the day, some technological freaks um, start to make some experiments with our soul and we end up with two lost souls swimming in our body, in our vessel. And as a technology freak myself, um, I would say, yes, it will be possible in future to reproduce or clone human souls and a kind of Dr. Frankenstein, a kind of Bill Gates, might open the box of the Pandora and really messes around human souls, really step into um, um, change our DNA code, modify our DNA code and make a kind of bio robots of ourselves. And there are some hints what we as a civilization have to do. And uh, there is an interview with a German guy called Alexander Laurent. And the interview is all in German, um, but he discloses very important information. And I feel it's my task to transfer this information also to the English speaking community. And the story which he tells is very similar to the story which is all about this movie Interstellar. He's telling us that humans managed to step into dimension seven. And from this dimension, they have an overview about the past and the future. They can look on the future. And they also manage to transfer information from dimension seven to our dimension. And by transferring this information, we can shift our future. It might well be possible that uh, this whole Corona story is just the start for something very big to happen. The Great Reset. Did you ever heard about the Great Reset? We have to turn around our society, our 
economic uh, procedures. And uh, we will step into a new world order where there's a big brother government ruling all over the world. And what we see now about Corona, which from a health issue is, isn't anything but logical, uh, it's fairly obvious that there is something behind this vast global theater. Is it possible that, these, the, that this theater is not about health or corona or a virus at all, but it's all uh, about how to change our society, how to change our civilization, how to change, modify humanity, how to digital, digitalize humanity to make out of humans a kind of bio-robots, which might be controlled by an artificial intelligent, intelligence. If you come to this conclusion that this might be a computer simulation, um, in this simulation, future is might be projected or defined by a computer program. And this guy with the special suit and this helmet called Alexander Laurent exactly tells about this computer simulated reality and how this simulation predicts our future. However, he mentioned that human beings um, managed to defeat this computer program which are now at the position in this dimension seven, uh, which was once occupied by this computer program. And from this higher dimension, they now transfer valuable information with special media, like movies and music pieces where this information is hidden and has to be decoded. So think about those future humans or those humans in dimension seven worked out a master plan, a master plan who, how to step out of this computer simulated prison. And one part of this escape is to move to a special location, which is defined in Europe and which is also defined in the United States. And there's a song by Pink Floyd called Fearless, which is all about Corona and which is defining the location where we in Europe has to ha have to go and gather and the same thing is disclosed for the United States where you have to go and come together and organize yourself. So the predictions um, by Alexander Laurent, who is possibly in contact with alien beings, um, he predicted where we have serious civil unrest in the United States. Did anybody of you heard about the, how you call it, the, the Deagle list? Whoever heard something about the Deagle list? This is a forecast how the population of different countries will change till 2025, the population of the United States will go down to 99 million people, which means that 270 million people will vanish in the next five years. China will be the big winner.
So the population of China will not will not change more or less. Not just 270 million people will perish, but the money you have after five years is just one third you have in these days. So it sounds more or less that humans are slaves. So this is a plan for a global enslavement of humans. So what happens in these days that you are forced to wear a mask in any chemical process which happen in our body, we ex how, how you call it, we, um, you put out toxic substances and you are forced by a mask to breathe it again in. It will have severe consequences for your brain. You are toxic, you're, you're enforced to toxify yourself. You are enforced to toxify your children. At the end of the day, the performance of your brain will go down. Your brain cells can't tolerate this toxic exhale. So it's a very smart method if you're forced to wear a mask that you are toxifying yourself without knowing it. We are forced to toxify our children so United Kingdom, we start at 64 million people and it will go down to 14 million people. So there will be in the United Kingdom an extinction rate of 78%. United States, you have an extinction rate of 83%. In Germany, we have an extinction rate of 61%. And many people say, this is fake, this is a fake list. But the Deagle list uh, exists directly after the Second World War. There, there are specialists working worldwide on this Deagle list. It may be an essential part of this computer program, of this computer simulation, and it rules out the plan. So it might be smart to take this Stiegel list very serious. And in those days which follows, and I will start this um, Zoom call every day on zero at midnight in Germany at midnight Central European time. And I will transfer to you very valuable information. If you really want to do something from a st strategic, strategic point of view, you have to be aware who really controls the things who really controls our government. So many thing, people think so the government is controlling the people. And some people think above that you have the deep state. But if you say the deep state is controlling the things, um, you do not have a um, precise impression, a precise view. You, who is a deep state? So what you have to know is who really controls the thing, who's really on top of the pyramid, who really is on top of the hierarchy. When you do not know the face or the kind of beings who are on top of the pyramid. You can't have an idea 
what's about the plan they're implementing now. You have to know who really is on the top of the pyramid. Who? Because you have to have an idea who really controls the things, who really controls our planet. Because if you know who controls the planet, you have a, you may develop an idea what is their plan, what is his plan. And there's a book called you might know uh, the the guy who wrote this book. The book's called The Art of War. And what happens now is a kind of war against the civilization of this planet. And the author is called Sun Tzu. And Sun Tzu is a very successful general, or was a very successful general 2,500 years ago. And the military in all nations of the world um, operate on the basis on the principles laid down in this booklet, The Art of War. And there's one thing very important. You have to know the plan of your enemy. And the best thing is to defeat your enemy is to destroy his plan, to, to, to make this plan public. If you when makes this plan public, you destroy it. And this is the most intelligent way how to um, arrange the things with your enemy. So we have to know who is on the top, who is our enemy, our joint enemy, and what's the plan. In order to do the right things, you have to know the plan. You have to know the head of the enemy. And now you make the plan public and destroy it. And that's what I will do in the next couple of days. The only thing I want to, to say tonight, uh, the information which I will give you is very, very important for you. And you may communicate that here in Germany, <laughs> there's a crazy guy who discloses the plan, the master plan from humans in a higher dimension. This story sounds extremely crazy. But you know, uh, there's a principle by this detective um, Sherlock Holmes. It says, when you discover all the possible options and you look at, at any options and you have to contradict them, and when you contradict all those options, and the last option which you can't contradict, um, even if this sound extremely improbable, extremely crazy, but this is the truth. And what I will tell you, I will tell you all about this truth, how crazy it may sound. 